Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Fires. Rise of Fires, Rise of Fires, Fires 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 You ready? Let's do it again. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empires, Eyes of Fire video with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you click that like button, subscribe if you can, and let's get on with the show. Today, we're going to be hitting our farms for the first time ever. So if you've been following this, we've started brand new accounts. We started six, maybe seven farm accounts. Today we're going to try and raid them a little bit and see if we can get any stuff, which will be nice. Um, we are currently in the middle of nowhere because we got ported by a little bastard, this guy. And I think his shield is going to drop in two hours, so if it does, I might tap him back. He's 58,000. I might not tap him back. I don't think I'm strong enough yet, but I might try. Uh, but in, never, nevertheless, let us teleport back over here. A little bit of a waste of a teleport, a little bit annoyed to be wasting it this early in the game, but that's all right. Let's pop back over here because we're about to smack all of our farms on the head. Now, currently all of our farms are within the same alliance, so we cannot hit them, obviously. If you are running farms, most likely you will be part of an alliance that will have a farm alliance. So they will be sitting in a separate alliance and you'll be in the main alliance and then you can attack. And you don't need to do this whole rigmarole that I'm about to do, which is kick all of my farms out attack them all, and then have to go back in each account and apply back to be part of this. It's going to take a little time. It's a little bit annoying, but that's how it is. Now, currently, in all of my farms, they should have zero fortress protection. So I have unticked the button, so none of the, for none of the farms have their troops defending. Uh, some of them are out uh, gathering. I hope nearly all of them are out gathering. If they're not, that's okay. Uh, the majority of the farms only have tier one troops, so we're not too worried about that. We might get a little bit of pain here. Um, and I have uh, kind of left them alone for about an hour and a half now, so they should have some resources in them. Maybe not as much as I would really want, but we're just going to give it a shot anyway. As you can see, they're in between castle level seven and six at the moment. Um, it is taking an incredibly long time to cycle through each account on a daily basis. Roughly speaking, to cycle through and you know, kind of do all the daily housework that you need to do in any account is taking about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes for all seven accounts, which is a bit of a long time just to get the daily basic housework out of the way. But it is what it is and we're doing what we do. So let's do it. So first off, obviously, I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to boot all of them. Uh, we could also boot all of these people that I'm playing with, but, you know, I like them, so I probably won't do that. <laughs> I keep, they're getting worried that I've got to just start using them as uh, as, as monkeys in the lab type of thing. <laughs> kick out is uh, Taco and Gil. So that's one. Uh, kick out Make a Hair Gil. That's two. Uh, kick out Eat a Home Gil. That's three. Uh, kick out Papa Yay Gil. That's four. Uh, kick out Better Say Gil. That's five. Kick out. Pick the pay gill, that's six. And I was right, we do have seven. Kick out Sumo Way Gill, that's seven. I didn't log into Sumo Way. Why did I not log <gasps> Sumo Way is not on my phone. It's only on this thing. I have to okay, I have to register Sumo Way on my phone. That's why I can never find this bugger. Right, kick him out there. Fantastic. So Sumo Way should have probably have all of the stuff because I actually haven't logged in that in seven days. Now let's attack the crap out of all of them. Uh, hopefully we have the stamina for this. I think we do. So we're just going to start going like this. Let's double check. Actually, we have no one better to lead the charge. And we've got the right troops. Come in here. Uh, yeah, I guess this is going to work. This is this will be fine for now. Let's do it. Uh, 20 seconds to march. So hopefully what we're trying to get out of this is that we grab some uh, resources. Uh, we probably will get a couple of kills, which is no bad thing. I mean... My farms are training tier 1 troops at the moment. That is mainly just so that they have enough troops for gathering. So I don't mind killing off a few tier 1s. That's kind of okay. It's not incredibly efficient. So I will probably, going forward, ensure that the farms are empty. However, as I said, I've just spent an hour and 45 minutes to two hours cycling through each account. I didn't really want to go back through them all <laughs> and check that the, uh, they are still gathering. I know some of them are. Most of them are. Hopefully they all are. We'll see. Oh, we can see that's gone red. That's definitely me gathering. Uh, somewhere. Okay, so we've got the first one there, Sumo Way Gil, who should have the most resources because I've not logged in there today. We killed 175. That's kind of bad. I didn't expect to be killing that many. Uh, and that's a really crap small amount of resources. 
It is only a castle level 5, so that's okay, but still, that's not great to start with. But the gold is what's important here. Iron, they're not even producing iron in that in that farm, so that's interesting. Uh, we'll have to check and make sure that that works better. Let's attack better, like a so. Now, we're just attacking with our kind of standard troops here, and what are we getting? We're getting a 10% hit on the durability of the castle. That's kind of interesting. I would have expected a little bit more for the current tier 3 troops we have, but that's okay. Uh, did we lose anything? Let me just double check that again. Did we actually die? Uh, fallen unit zero, 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 zero. No, we didn't. So we just killed our oh, wounded, basically. Wounded and minor injuries is what we did. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with that at all. That was fine. Uh, let's have a quick look at this. Like so. Okay, skills used. Um, okay, why is he... Ah, because again, this is the one we didn't log into. Sumo way, so we didn't have that. Okay, now we go into here. We've got 648 kills. Okay, this is bad. So obviously I haven't moved. My guys are not gathering. So it's slightly annoying. We're still going to go through with it. But it proves how important it is to make sure that your troops are out of the farm you're about to attack and that they are gathering. Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting a little bit of time. Uh, resources a little bit better from this account. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Again, not a huge amount, but we are just starting out. This is the first time we are effectively raiding our farms, or farming our farms, so to speak. So let's better say, better say Gil has done. And how much damage did we do? We did 9% there. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's attack. Attack. That was a weird uh, pronunciation. Attack. This next one, which is eat a ham, Gil. I've got a little bit of a sniffle in my nose. One second. Where <sighs> It's a little bit chilly today, actually, um, in Melbourne. Uh, okay, attacking that guy. So this is going to be not too bad. If we say we've got seven accounts and we're getting 20,000 resources from each one, uh, actually, let's just scribble down what we're getting. I want to see how much uh, we're doing here. Battle report. So let's just say total amount of resources. Uh, 25, 25, 50, 17, and 12 is uh, it's like 30, 35. So say like 85 from that one. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 85 from that one. This one was how much? Uh, 7 for 16, 23, 29, say 34, say just say 34. We're just doing rough calculations here, guys. Don't get angry at me if I... Aha, uh -huh, cool. This guy, we had zero kills because it is gathering. That's awesome. So we did that one right. Fantastic. Uh, here we also got a lot more res. That's uh, 80,000, 85,000. Okay, so that's not too bad. I've dropped my pen. Oh, bang, pick that up. 85,000 all right. Okay, now we should be able to attack one more. Uh, make a hay deal. Attack you. Thank you very much. Let's just double check. We're not losing any troops, are we? No. We, so far, oh no, we've lost a few, have we? So far, we've lost 12 troops. Okay, so that's not too bad at all. Uh, while we're here, though, quickly, let's just train some of these babies up. Uh, and let's also wait while we're here, just get that blacksmith to do something. Awesomeness, thank you very much. Um, okay, let's pop back out. Okay, these are so slow, these guys, at the start, isn't it? Oi, 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 how many more we've got to attack? One, two, three. Three more to attack. Okay, what did we get out of you? Uh, like a so. Again, zero kills, so that means that we've hopefully got nothing, uh, nobody within... The farm within Maker Hay Guild. This one's a little bit more res here. So 26 plus 49 is roughly uh, 76,000. Plus that, 76. Uh, plus this, 20 is uh, 96. Plus 9 is going to be like 103. Let's say 104,000 in terms of total resources. So that's a good one. That's not a bad one at all. The hit right at the start. And we should be kind of filling up our stuff here. That's great. Uh, Pit of Hay Guild, let's get you. Bam, bam, excellent. Yeah, then as I said, what we're going to have to do now is go back through, log into all of these accounts, and then apply and join back into the alliance so that they get the benefits of growing within an alliance. We could obviously start a new alliance with one of these guys and have a farm alliance and a main alliance. However, I don't want to get too complicated that way. Um, at the moment, we'll keep everything in the main, kick it out whenever we need to, bring it back in. Roughly speaking, we're probably going to be attacking every second day. We'll use one day for growing the alliance and one day for 
not the alliance, one day for growing the farm and then one day for attacking the farm. Obviously, you could just leave it for a couple of weeks until you get to a high enough level that the resources are actually going to be a lot more worth it to attack. But, you know, we want to test this out and see how we go. Okay, so here we've got 4,000, so that's 40,000, 56,000, 56 is uh, 63, 73 uh, plus 9, I guess is about, what's that, 82,000, roughly speaking. So it's not too bad at all. Uh, and then we should be able to attack two more. Uh, Taka Ole, attack you. Like a so. Now, how much uh, damage are we doing? So we're doing 9% on all of these. Oh, that was 10%. Yeah, okay. So we're doing 9 or 10% damage on each one of these. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Um, and we're roughly speaking, we're up to quite a lot of resources so far, which is excellent. It's going to make it a lot quicker for this uh, castle to grow. Since I'm not having to dip into my backpack at any point now, it's, I think I could probably do quite a few... I could probably do this whole day of uh, upgrading without dipping into the backpack at all, which would be excellent. I'll pop back into here, like so. Okay, again, everybody in this uh, farm seems to be out uh, gathering, which is excellent, so we've timed that well. 26 plus 37, 43, 63,000, 68,000, 88,000, plus 5 is 93,000 resources. No iron here, that's odd. Is that castle got iron in it? Taka, that castle should be producing iron. Taka Olel is castle level 7, so it should be producing iron. That's a little bit strange. We'll have to check that. And then Papi Yegil is the last one we're attacking here. Like a so. And let's see what we get in total. Uh, let's just do some quick math here. 85 is 89, 99, 109, 119, 124, 210, 390, 390 plus 93, 393 is 483, 483,000 so far in resources, and now we've just attacked Papier Gill, Papier Gill is going to give us, again, not much kill, so that means the things are out gathering. Puppy Gill is going to give us 11, so 12,000 plus 7, 19,000 plus 9, 28,000 plus 5, 34, 33,000. So it's going to be 486, 4964, 400, 516,000 roughly. In terms of research, we will have to check as well why this one, Puppy Gill, is so less. That's definitely the least amount we've got from any single one of the farms. And they all should be at very, very similar level, doing very, very similar things. So that's a little bit odd. I have to check out what we've done in that account that um, has made it so low in terms of uh, the resource gathering. So, seven farms, 516,000 worth of resources within about 10 minutes. Um, that is not too shabby at all. At this very early level of running this experiment, I'm quite happy with that. Now, as I said, obviously, we're going to have to grab all of these guys and put them back in the alliance. We're going to have to grow them up a bit. Uh, we did screw up a couple of times in that we killed too many troops. So we're going to have to really make sure that the troops are out gathering. So we're just not wasting that, in, that efficiency. Uh, in terms of our losses in the main account here, we should not have lost much at all. How many troops did we get? 36 troops in all, so that's not too shabby at all. Uh, it will be a lot easier once we have higher tier troops and also once we've done a little bit more research where we can gather, uh, get more loot and when we've got a little bit more of the blacksmith stuff going on. But as a first run, hitting the farms, I think that was good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with how that's going. So basically, if you're kind of running this experiment yourself, if you're starting out a bit fresh, I would say from about castle level 6 to 7, you can start to hit your farms on a regular every second day basis. Uh, which should enable you to grab quite a lot of resources. Half a million in resources for one day's raiding is uh, not too shabby at this level of the game, so I'm quite happy with that. And as I said, this is probably enough resources for me to get most of the building work that I need to do done today. Um, I don't know what we need to do. I have to check all of this stuff again. What do we do? Let's have a quick look. Houses, quarry, tavern. Okay, we could do a little bit of that. We can do this quarry. Upgrade it like a so. Houses. Upgrade it like a so. See, this is brilliant. It's going to easily use up all the stuff we uh, we did. Uh, let's get this iron thing upgraded. So, so we've barely made a dent in everything we just gathered. So this is definitely going to last us enough resources for the day, if not tomorrow as well. 
And then if we come back and we attack these guys again on Saturday, it's a Thursday now apparently, then we should be doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think. If you think I'm doing it wrong or right. If you think I'm doing it wrong, go to hell. Um, if you think I'm doing it right, give me a love heart and I'll give you one back. Um, please make sure that you eat some cheese today. Uh, it's very, very good for you and uh, makes your mood improve on a daily basis. Uh, and click the like and subscribe if you can. I'll catch you in the next one, people. See you later.